um, it's probably noteworthy uh, to point out that Luke tells us that as he ascended and was being lifted up, it says that a cloud took him out of their sight. Um, And so in the Old Testament, uh, clouds uh, were symbolic of the presence of God in a couple different occasions. So when can you think of a time when the presence of God was symbolized by a cloud? Yeah, yeah, that being led through the desert, yes. But uh, a couple of times we talk about the, uh, the Bible speaks about the, the glory of God filling the tabernacle. Um, or then even when Solomon dedicates the temple, it says the glory of God filled the place, uh, the, the Shekinah glory of God like a cloud. And so we see a few of these instances of the presence of God or the glory of God being represented. Uh, I think it's important to note that because we're not supposed to think about Jesus as going up towards a geographic location, um, that he's not like an ancient astronaut, um, that he's leaving um, the atmosphere and then going into the stratosphere, and then eventually he arrives at like the GPS coordinates for heaven. Uh, but... Uh, in, in essence, it seems that the ascension is the final act as Christ leaves this earthly ministry and then transitions or is ushered into the presence of, of God.